What's up everybody? Mike from Exit Off Road. Just want to show you um, these new, um, well, newer Overland Vehicle Systems um, cargo bags. They got a bunch of, bunch of different ones. They're all um, cotton canvas. And um, I ordered this one for myself just to replace this bag. Now you can take a look and see. It looks like the bag I already have. Um, it also looks like the Coleman, I mean the Craftsman that I have over there. Um, so I want to see what this is like. <clears throat> I sell these on my website, exitoffroad.com, but I hadn't had any yet. So um, I wanted to try it and I need it for my vehicle. Now you take a look here. This has been like this for, I don't know, two years. <laughs> Nothing comes out of there, amazingly. I guess I haven't jumped it hard enough yet, but um, this bag is a crescent brand tools that I got for white elephant gift exchange probably in 2006 or something so that was like 35 years ago anyway I got a bunch of tools in here um, just the way I have them organized this is what I regularly carry in my vehicle because I can pretty much fix whatever with this uh, with some exceptions but I, I know it's kind of heavy this is probably um, 20 pounds but uh, that's why I want the heavy wall. And I'd looked at bags, at cheap ones at Harbor Freight and stuff like that. I'd looked at newer Craftsman ones. And they're just not, they're just not the same uh, thickness as this one was. So this one's starting to tear on the other side too, just like this one did. Um, but also like the way it opens up to a square, uh, square mouth size. So let's see. Uh, padded carry handle for better support, wax canvas as it ages over time becomes timeless. Wax canvas as it ages over time becomes timeless. Wow. I wonder if an American wrote that or somebody else. You know these things are not made in America, but this company has excellent quality rooftop tents, awnings, all kinds of camping gear. And I haven't even opened this yet. People would normally say that just for shits and giggles on YouTube, but um, yeah, it looks to be a very, very similar size. Can you see it okay? Yeah, you can see it okay. From the angle, first of all, it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of heavy-ish by itself, but um, I mean, it's, this is like double wall. I can feel two layers of fabric with probably a sheet of nylon or something in between them. Um, it's way bigger open but it's only probably a little bit longer when closed I don't care I just need something that's gonna that this stitch is gonna hold for at least 20 years like the other one did um, so anyway this has got a rigid uh, rigid you can feel a bit of metal inside there to keep the sides nice and even and check out the inside you've got all kinds of little bungees and pockets that's going to be handy, which I don't have now, to vertically store um, the tools in there that are always laying down. Um, so yeah, I mean, wax canvas actually, they, they put some kind of a spray. You can see, you see the discoloration there? That's normal for uh, a canvas. And um, I'm really digging the length of these pockets. I don't know, I don't like to keep anything on the outside of my bag for the stuff in the vehicle, but definitely on the inside, if I can put something in there that'll stand up nice and neatly um, without getting in the way of the lid opening up, that'll be handy. So, handcrafted number 16 wax canvas bag with 600D nylon strips, number 10 zippers and carry handle. Typical of a bag, you have big big zippers they're unbranded but um, zippers these days aren't as bad as they used to be 10 years ago they were absolutely shocking so let me um, have a look at what I got in here and figure out what I'm going to put in there to organize this you know first go was was okay but it's pretty it's pretty full I like how um, how rounded it gets actually um, you can see now when it's full it's got kind of a rounded shape but 
I couldn't quite fit everything in. Um, we'll have to see how these zippers do. You know what that what that means there normally. Um, but I loaded up. The problem was I couldn't fit everything in there. So um, I don't know. Let me show you what I fit. What emergency equipment I needed, and what I fit. I got the cheapest mashed potatoes you can find. I got a whole thing of ranch. I got a little bit of barbecue sauce. Now this, and uh, if you haven't ever had Rangpur by Tanqueray with some uh, sticky fingers, don't do that. We got a little bit of Buffalo Trace. I'm not making this up, all this stuff fit in there. You can see, got some uh, Puerto Rican rum, got some Nicaragua rum. This is my favorite rum of all time. Florida Cana, seven year from Nicaragua, very good stuff. We got a little Traveler Kettle One, and then you know I was showing you those those pocket things. Check, oh, check it out. They um, these little guys will fit right in the uh, right in those side loops there. You know. So anyway, I think overall it's going to be a a pretty handy bag to have, and that um, you didn't hear it really rattling around, so it's kind of incognito if you want to you know carry some carry some gear with you um out on the trail or whatever so anyway let me um i just i'm just going to transfer all the stuff over like there's no real point in going into what's in here but some things don't want to want to move you guys you guys use these rings too i believe i freaking forgot what it's called again it I think it's a I don't think it's a hog ring I can't remember the name of this um, track supply you get rid of the plastic ones saves a lot of space look I got one for this for the uh, smaller wrenches one for the bigger wrenches we'll try and put some of these pliers down the side maybe and these things are all these things are all jumbled up I put them in order of size too not that you really have to. This uh, Allen keys I've had since like 2001 from Walmart, the Stanley brand. I've never had a single problem with them. Tools, oh, a knife. A knife would be handy. See, a knife would be good right here in this outer pocket, but the, the ones on the inside are not as tall, so it's probably not going to stay in there. Like I said, I don't like leaving stuff on the outside because I have multiple bags I keep together. I use two tool bags too to keep some basic recovery equipment. You can tell I very rarely use the standard um, size Allen keys from Walmart, but I will put those like the best eight dollars I ever spent. Here are my sockets on a piece of speaker wire. Just twist it around there in order of size they really don't make much noise and it saves some space I'll just show you while I'm in here I use I have an old wrench with an adapter so it's a half inch and an adapter two or three eighths with a bunch of three eighths sockets in case something random happens spark plug socket yeah right I've never even touched the spark plugs in this forerunner screwdrivers there's no, there's no good place to put them in here. Emergency clamp, that might fit. Yeah, so that's a little, well, it says it's a two inch clamp, that's bigger than two inches, but that little clamp there will actually fit down in one of those sides. <laughs> this is a Crescent Wrench brand that I actually got with this bag. Check that out, you ever seen that? It just slides up and down. It's the best, best one ever. Kind of locks in real easy. I love that thing. Never use it, but I love it. I got some picks. I got some plastic tools and a wire brush and a, what was that? That was like a um, seven mil. Doesn't fit. It doesn't fit on that uh, ring that I have. I try to remove the mud flaps on a vehicle with a tire on these um, 90 degree screwdriver things are pretty handy. 
obviously I can do some better organization in the sides. Now, this is something I really liked in this older bag is these side pockets. I would keep electrical tape and my Stanley tape measure from 20 years ago. And then random things like electrical tape and electrical tape and um, Teflon tape. Look, we have powdered graphite. Oh, I forgot I had this. Any Jeep people, you need to have uh, something like this. The cool thing is it has the right size sockets with it. I actually got stuck where I couldn't use this recently. Um, so what I ended up doing was uh, something like that. And then that, I don't know what I did. Anyway, these kind of things are just handy to have because you never know. It may not be you that, break, that breaks down. It may be someone else. So we've got some, uh, some spare hardware here. KDSS friggin front lower bolt. I don't need that in here anymore, but hate those things. They strip out. It's such a such a fine thread for something that has hundreds and hundreds of pounds of force on it. This is a tool for the uh, front lights, the driving lights to lock them in, and then just some other bits and pieces. So anyway, that's the bag. Um, all that stuff fits in there nicely. I definitely noticed the difference of the width. I can tuck some of these tools down inside here. Definitely much better, but um, <clears throat> I like it. I think it's going to work fine. I will reorganize it the next time I need to find something in there. Like I said, the only thing that concerns me is this damn zipper. You know, whenever, whenever a zipper gets stressed, it does that little kink, like I showed you earlier. Um, and this is doing it, uh, this is not doing it now, I should say, so it's fine. And these straps are definitely, you've got heaps of um, stitching here on the side. So, yeah, I like it. Looks good. Feels good. You saw all those loose bits. That's really not that loud. If you're running around the trail, which is why I use soft bags and not, um, not hard bags, so... There you go for that. Next up, let's look at this and see if I will use this or not. Everything fit in this bag just fine. I can probably also put in the um, no-name peanut butter. I don't know why I have this no-name peanut butter and some beverages. So open up this here in a second. Uh, just one last thing. I ended up putting the uh, electrical tape on the outside, the Teflon tape in here. That's kind of easy to get to. There's no other good spot really inside the bag to get to it easily. Uh, but I also forgot to show the bottom. Um, you see the double stitched all the way, nice and smooth. It's got that same, like, I would say probably a nylon material on the inside, like a sheet and double layered of the cotton canvas on the bottom. So um, yeah, if, if it was gonna tear or something, it'd probably tear here eventually, but my other bag never did, so. Let's see. I think it'd be pretty durable. Just gonna take care of it and uh, Thanks for watching. All right. It's been about five seconds So this is a rolled socket bag Overland vehicle systems uh, Let me read some of this to you designed to hold quarter inch three eighths and half inch sockets Keeps ratchets and sockets organized dual reinforced stitching The other one is stitched really well um, the, the bag I should say I haven't used um, I've never used a roll for sockets. I know a lot of people do. My concern always is the amount of space it takes. Now this is um, got nothing in it and already, I wouldn't say it's big at all. Now this in a four wheel drive could fit like in any number of places, but um, let's take a look. Oh, that's cool. Velcro, gonna have to check. Ow, let's check the, um, stitching on that oh well look at that so you can see here let's take a look at it man that velcro really got me so you can put extensions or sockets right up in here and hold those in place sorry not sockets ratchets it's even got a little clamp for it i uh forgot that this thing actually was sized i'm uh really happy about that so we could put a knife in there <laughs> um, yeah, definitely the bigger size down the bottom, 
Is anything spelled wrong? No, they spelled millimeters right. That's good. Um, no weird things written on this one. Um, this is nice. Um, it's very nice um, stitched on, sorry, very nice stitched on bit of branding here. It's the only branding on it. I guess if you, um, these aren't, these are not very expensive, but you're not going to really care about a brand. The branding on the original bag was the same size, but uh, it's going to be interesting when this gets filled up for what kind of uh, thickness it's going to be. Um, and it's got, it's definitely got probably four inches of Velcro that is available to be rolled up with. So I'm going to load this up with some sockets from my other socket set that I don't travel with and see how it works. Um, I want to show you the stitching on this does look very good to me. The Velcro. You know, quite often these kind of things are just such junk. Sorry, not this brand, but this kind of an item are normally stitched so poorly that um, you really don't like it. But I would say this is very good. It's uh, it's all stitched very well. And uh, like I said, Overland Vehicle Systems, OVS, makes a lot of rooftop tents and awnings and the quality on them is really is really high end especially for the price so let me load this up and see how it looks all right well i just spent i don't know five minutes or so i have one of those craftsman like 190 piece plastic box full socket sets and it's probably basically what this was based off um but something that surprised me was this is actually all elastic i don't know what i was thinking it was i just didn't think about that but um i just want to show you like this is eight through 13 uh, 3 8 inch size sockets and they fit in great they really do you kind of got to squeeze the um, elastic out of there a little bit but um, look at the look at the way the socket the ratchet fits this is the uh, 3 8 craftsman ratchet it's got like a little thing I'm just guessing as I go but you know just got my regular 3 inch ratchet slid that in there and then I put that little elastic I guess so it doesn't you know it doesn't it's not going to slide out of there it's got rooms um, these slots here specific definitely for this size extension this one here i don't know what this is for this is um too big for this so i won't put, actually i'll leave it in there just to see well yeah, i'll leave it in there just to see if it folds up it fits here's the big half inch craftsman ratchet i got more extensions i got the little quarter inch you know, i never i never use quarter inch sockets i mean you'd have to be doing something pretty small to use those but it's got you covered look all the way down to four millimeters or five thirty seconds I even got the little short extension in up here that you know may, maybe it's a little loose or i could put it in from the thicker end but um i'm surprised at how easy it was of course stitching is going to be everything and this would be a piece of junk if these weren't stitched nice um, but there's absolutely no loose frays on any of this i think the quality is really good so i don't know if there's a wrong or right way to do this I don't think it could be but let's try it and see how it uh, rolls up and um, you know I guess the idea is that I could put my entire socket set in here and ditch that case and this would most definitely be smaller than the plastic case so um, I thought it would be heavier. I don't have every socket in there, obviously, but this actually is not that much bigger than when I first pulled it out of the box um, with basically a set of metric sockets that I would put into it. Now, it's going to try and fold up a little bit if it's not all the way full, but let's listen to it. Okay, that's probably, that. it's probably this one here, I would bet. Let's try Okay, we've got a little extension coming out, but you know, that's not that bad. It's never going to happen when it's laying flat in the back of your truck. And like I said, it's um, it's probably almost going to fit back in the box with the sockets. Let's try it, who cares? Look at that. Let me zoom out a little bit. 
it friggin' fits in the box and the box is still kind of square. I'm surprised at how compact that is. Um, maybe I will use this. Maybe I'll use it for that socket set. Like I said, I just like that socket set. Let me show you what it looks like just because it's easy to get at. Excuse the uh, poor light, but this is the socket set I was talking about and it's got, you know, 3 8 3 8 metric, um, standard, whatever. Um, and there's all the quarter inch stuff over there. Um, actually, sorry, no, that's that's still a 3 8 gear. Um, but so many options. All the quarter inch is actually up in here and it's all mixed up. This thing failed on me. So anyway, I think if you um, like this idea of something that makes no noise. Um, <laughs> sorry about all that booze. I thought that was funny when I was like, what am I going to put in here? Um, but that's a, that's a great idea. It's exactly the same material as the bag. Um, think about that in your four-wheel drive where you could put a complete socket set. I mean, you put that under under a seat. It's, it's only, that's not even four inches, four inches high. Um, look, it's not even as high as the mini crown. So, is that even crown? Crown vanilla. So yeah, check it out, exitoffroad.com. These are not expensive. I think it's like 60 or 70 bucks and 30, 40, who cares? It's not your money. Just put it on your credit card. Take it easy guys, exitoffroad.com. Thanks for watching.